it is Mike Les with a video from Sterling, Illinois. Today I am out in the field with a New Holland SP345 self-propelled sprayer with a 120 foot wide boom. They are out here in the tall corn spraying uh, fungicide and insecticide mix. So just going to do a walk around of the sprayer here and then the uh, rest of it, the only way to film this was with a drone, so the uh, rest of the video will be drone footage of this uh, going across the field. This corn here was planted with a Great Plains twin row planter, so there is, uh, of course, 30 inch centers with two rows spaced apart, so there's actually 22 inches of spacing to get down the rows. So he was spraying this corn at an angle to the rows, said he was running less down that way versus uh, trying to run straight with the row and getting off a little bit and running a whole row down. So that's what you're going to see coming up here as well. So that's the explanation for that. The sprayer does not have any decals on it uh, running through this tall corn and washing it off all the time. He said it peeled the decals off. So just running it as a blue machine. This sprayer was sold by Peabody Implement out of Sterling, Illinois, who is a New Holland and also a versatile dealer. And this customer just happens to have a versatile 575 tractor also. So these uh, high clearance or high frame sprayers have been gaining a lot of uh, popularity and what I am told is in the past uh, fungicide and stuff when the corn's this high had to be sprayed on or flown on with uh, an air tractor or airplane or a helicopter and from what the guys are telling me uh, when they go in and do this they get much more even application of the spray that they are putting on. They said uh, last year spraying fungicide uh, some guys would do a field half and half, half with this and half with an airplane and they could see the difference in their yield monitor. Uh, that's what they're telling me, so I don't have any data to support that other than just a couple farmers word for it. But it makes sense. And just a couple things about the sprayer here. Uh, this design was uh, designed and built by Miller Pro out of Wisconsin. And uh, New Holland or CNH had recently purchased that company. And now this sprayer is blue. Uh, a couple of the quick specs that I looked up on this. This is powered with a Cummins QSL 8.9 liter diesel engine putting out about 320 horsepower. I don't know if this will change to a uh, later on change or maybe has already changed to an FPT or Fiat powertrain uh, Iveco engine or not that might be in the works may have already happened i'm guessing if it hasn't it will be uh, this is also a four-wheel drive sprayer hydrostatic drive uh, can run over about 30 mile an hour down the road and he is running about 10 miles per hour across the field right here uh, according to the specs you can also get this with a 1200 1400 or 1600 gallon uh, product tank and also an additional 150 gallon rinse tank and as I mentioned earlier, this machine here has the 120 foot wide boom. Looks like you can also get this machine with a 90 or 100 as well. There is just a little over a minute left in this video, so uh, again, thanks everybody for watching, and I'm also working on uh, another video with a Hagee sprayer, uh, front boom sprayer, spraying fungicide on not too far from here, so stay tuned for that. That'll be coming in the near future as well.